Now if I had to pick one item out of my collection that is a true art piece, I would definitely pick this one. What is up everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video, not a Sunday, not a video. Today we're talking about a special piece, right, for two reasons. Number one, I got this piece from a dear friend of mine, so it's really close to my heart. And I've had this for a while now, for a couple of years, maybe like four years, I think. To be honest, it rarely gets any use, right? It's more like an art piece that I keep at home, stashed away, and I know I'll keep this forever, so it's there's no rush, right, to wear it every day. But yeah, today we're talking about the Beak Verstappen I hope I pronounced it correctly. This channel really has become famous for butchering names. Nah, I think I'm doing all right. So yeah, second reason why I love this actually, only mentioned one, right? Second reason is because this is a true art piece in my opinion, and we'll get into the details later on. But first I wanna talk about Big Verstappen in general. So I first came across Big Verstappen like, I don't know, five years ago maybe-ish, six years five years, something like that. I was basically browsing the Darklands website and I saw those like crazy artistic scarves. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Right, the fabric, like how it's, like the texture of the fabric, I guess, and like how the color changes and stuff like that. So super interested in the brand. If you don't know anything about the brand, let me just read this real quick. So Big stop. this is sort of like the brand description that is like published on all the websites, on all the shops. From her studio in a 1895 warehouse in the center of Amsterdam, Big Verstappen creates variable clothes using only natural fibers as raw silk, bamboo, and wool from Angora coat, camel, yak, and several beads of sheep. During the process, the, from selection to blah, 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 blah. So basically she uses super cool materials and does it all by herself, right? There's nobody else doing it, which obviously I like because you know it's a true artisanal piece where somebody like really makes it with their hand. I mean, you can tell it's, probably it's gonna be super hard to catch that on camera. But this is sort of like a silk wool mix, right? Which is, <laughs> let me just get a few close-ups here. Ah. Like every inch looks different. So this is a scarf, by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, because it's obviously not that easy to to know what it is when you see it. Damn. <laughs> so everything looks different here. There are multiple ways of wearing it. So to quickly show you how huge this thing is. And then it's basically sort of like a slouch like a tube design, I guess. And then on the one side, it ends here, that's the back side. And the front side goes way longer, right? So that it covers your chest as well. It's an ultra heavy piece. And to my knowledge, like Big Verstappen started like only with scarves. And then they sort of like, or she sort of like moved towards more like headwear, but also shirts and clothing, I think. Yeah, even like coats and, sh and pants and stuff. So super interesting. My favorite is still the scarves though, because they really like, it feels like she's really experimenting there and like gets all the like the artistic power into those products. Obviously the quality is insane, right? The materials are sustainable and like the best materials you can find is usually like a mix of like linen and silk and cotton and stuff. To my knowledge, like she composed, like she creates the scarf basically, and then like cooks it in like those huge. I've, I've seen her like on Instagram, like pictures of her like studio where she like cooks the silk in like huge, huge buckets or whatever. To my like, I think at least like that's how the texture here is created because it's probably like a mix of different materials, and then some of the materials like shrink right when you cook it, and some don't. So that's why that's sort of 
the effect that you have here. I'm not sure if you have any knowledge how that effect is created, let me know. But it's a super crazy piece. I was actually thinking of like hanging this up on my wall, but I don't know, it's kind of a waste, I guess. Because obviously you can look at it, because right now it's in my closet at home, right? So I don't see it every day. But if I hang it up, I could see it every day, but I could never wear it. But yeah. So definitely a special, special piece. And it's also special to wear, right? It's not that easy to wear because it's a huge scarf. <laughs> and it looks kind of weird in the beginning. You kind of get used to it. I don't know, to me, like when we, since we talk about like emo emotional connections to pieces, right? Obviously strong emotional collection, connection because I got it from my dear friend, but also the vibe or the feeling that I have when I wear it, I feel like protected, you know, because it's so, such a big scarf, right? So I feel like protected from the outside world. If that makes any sense. But yeah, enough talking. Let's put the sucker on and show you how I style it. So by the way, this is uh, the shirt that I'm wearing. It's the Elena Dawson shirt that you probably know from my other videos but yeah this is basically how you put it on right so there's it's not that like long in the back but then pretty long in front and then it has this huge like <laughs> and there's a lot going on like you really have to get close to like get a grasp of the textures and it really feels like I don't know like a painting you know those paintings were like huge like the thick paintings with texture, that's sort of like how this feels. Yeah, and I usually would like wear a darker top, right? But I just for demonstration purposes, I wanted to have high contrast so you can see the scarf and the shape. I just can't stop staring at the textures. Yeah, beautiful piece. Hope you like it. Let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts on Big Verstappen. If you didn't know her, Google her. You can find her stuff in like those high end avant garde artisanal stores, right? Like Darklands or Lab Store in London. So just Google Big Verstappen. I put it down, put it down below. Also link their website and Instagram and everything so you can check it out. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what your opinion is. And it feels like it's an ultra thick scarf, obviously, but right? it feels super soft and perfect for like fall winter, which is coming up. So yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video, right? If you did, smash the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, new video coming every Sunday. And yes, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>